What are the best hotels on San Diego Bay? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today I am here on San Diego Bay on the Embarcadero and I'm gonna show you the best hotels on San Diego Bay. I'm gonna give you the best views, the best places to dine, the nicest rooms. We're starting off at the southernmost point of the Embarcadero. First hotel on the list is the Hilton Bayfront and it is the southernmost hotel on the Embarcadero. Hudson and Nash is their newest restaurant. It used to be the Fox Sports Grill back in the day. You're gonna get that driving down the PCH type of vibe when you go there. There is a pedestrian bridge that looks like a huge sailboat that connects you over to the Gaslamp Quarter and the East Village and Petco Park. So if you're going to a Padre game, it's really accessible and really close and you also have have the convention center here and the famous indigo ballroom during comic con is located inside the hilton as well they also have a spa and a swimming pool that is amazing another thing that i think is great is that they offer a free shuttle for guests to the Hotel Del Coronado, you can get a free shuttle and that saves you some money driving over to Coronado. If you wanna take the more scenic route, they do have a Coronado ferry that will shuttle you over and it's just down the way over here next to Joe's Crab Shack. Down here on the bayfront, there is a lot of park space where you can roam around with your dogs. They do have some benches here where you can eat lunch. They have a food truck called On The Rocks. We're literally right across from the world famous San Diego Convention Center, home of SDCC. Comic Con, which is coming up pretty soon here. If you're looking for coffee or some yogurt, they have Sweet Things San Diego here and a Starbucks. If you want some Dole Whip, I heard the Dole Whip here is amazing. The Odyssey Lounge is the main bar over in the lobby of the Hilton Bayfront, and they also have a beautiful outdoor terrace that looks out onto the bay and the convention center. We made it into one of the Hilton's Bayfront suites, and the view here is amazing. You can see all the way out to Point Loma, Coronado, you see Rady Shell. You get a back row view of it because you're so high up and you probably can't hear anything. Perfect for families. They have a huge dining table here and the bed actually goes up onto the wall and you could actually get a uh, adjoining room for more people. So if you have a huge family or a huge group, you can combine these two rooms and just enjoy these views and all the amenities in this room. One thing that I've really loved about this hotel every time I come here is the pool. The pool has a beautiful view of San Diego Bay as well as the Coronado Bay Bridge, a partial view. There's a bar here, a lot of seats and tables where you can relax, lounge chairs, and there's a couple of different pools, a jacuzzi. It just exudes San Diego. They also have a fire pit here. The Hilton Bayfront San Diego, it's a great place to stay, especially if you're here for a convention or if you're wanting to go to an event at Petco Park or just cross over that walking bridge to the gas lamp quarter. Now let's make our way up the San Diego Embarcadero to the next hotel. We're here at the famous Marriott Marina and I love it. It's got two towers that surround each other and it's right next to the convention center. You literally are closest to it if you're staying over at the south tower of the Marriott property and their swimming pool here is amazing. They have a couple of great spots to eat. There's also a new Top Golf simulator over here which we're gonna try out. It's so tropical and you're in the middle of downtown. If you're looking for a morning brew, they do have a Starbucks right down in the lobby. And you guys know in my Las Vegas hotel reviews, I always go check out what a Pike's Place roast costs. We're inside the M Club Lounge. For platinum members and above, you can come in here during the day, grab a little snack, grab a drink. And in the morning, they do have a breakfast set up over here. There's a ton of USB chargers and you can do your work over here. They got TVs all around the place. So if you're out of town and you wanna watch some TV, favorite sports team, they have that over here at the M Club. We made it into the fitness center of the Marriott. I'm inside the cycling room and they offer a bunch of classes here and they have a schedule right when you enter. Hours could change, classes could change as time goes by. So you might wanna check with the hotel to see what they have to offer when you're staying here. This is a pretty huge gym for a hotel gym. They even have free weights, a bunch of ellipticals and treadmills. We're here in the Bayview King bedroom with a balcony and it's newly renovated over here. They have very bright light blue ocean colors and you can see the 
Coronado Bay Bridge over along the distance, Hotel Dell along the way, Cabrillo National Monument. Downstairs is the pool and you get nice fresh air. Like I'm not used to having a balcony in your bedroom, especially here in downtown San Diego. So thumbs up. We just made it out to my favorite pool in San Diego. It's the Marriott pool. Kind of looks like a little lazy river. You see waterfalls and there's streams around here. Not only do they have a lazy river shaped type of pool, it's not really a lazy river, it's just shaped like it. They also have a jacuzzi behind me along with the tequila bar. Let's see what they have in the tequila bar. This is their brisket birria, with birria being all the craze here in San Diego. It was a great move to put the brisket birria on here and it comes with chips, your salsa, and your lime. You got your cilantro. You can tell this was done with love. Mm. That is tasty brisket birria, guys. Nice and juicy. Oh yeah, come out here, enjoy the view, enjoy the bay breeze. Grab yourself a brisket birria and some of this uh, shrimp ceviche right here. Look at that. It's got like a little sweetness, tiny bit of spice. You also have cucumbers in here, tomatoes, cilantro. This is also tasty. Can't forget the avocado as well. Hey, this looks like the Jaycation logo, but it's the Bayside Lounge. Hi, welcome to Top Golf Swing Suite. We are here in our Bayside Lounge at Marriott Marquis, San Diego Marina. We are here to host your next private event. We're also open to the public. For you non-golfers, it's not just golf. We have many other games to choose from. We have hockey, baseball, soccer, football, jewel jam. Get ready to swing into summer with us. We're gonna try our hand at golf and try out a cocktail here from a famous golfer. They named it after. John Daly is an infamous drinker and there is a popular drink called the Arnold Palmer. This is their take on Arnold Palmer, except there's vodka in it and it's named after John Daly. Oh, you got that lemonade iced tea vodka feel to it with the mojito leaf. Very good. You could have a couple of these. Look out at the marina, the Rady shell. All right, you guys know I'm not a golfer, but we're gonna try this out, virtual top golf. And we're at the Aviara, which is in San Diego, North San Diego. We're still virtually in San Diego. And check out the views around here. And right below us is Roy's. You can see Rady Shell down the way. That's where Olivia Rodrigo is performing next week. Well, by the time you see this, she probably already had performed. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike here at Top Golf Swing Suite at the Bayside Lounge at the Marquee Marriott. Make sure you swing on by here and pick up a cold cocktail or beer or wine to enjoy with your uh, round of golf. Cheers. Thanks for that. John Daly right here. It's a good time. Stop by and say hi to Mike. He'll make you a good cocktail. Next on the list for best hotels off of San Diego Bay is the Manchester Grand Hyatt. We've covered this a couple times on Jaycation. This is Sally's, and we're gonna go to a few new spots that we haven't covered before. We're back here at Sally's Fish House and Bar, and it is happy hour time, and happy hour drinks is $6 for draft, and bottled beers, $7 for Chardonnay or House Red Blend and $7 for house margarita and sangria. We're gonna try out their colorful Cobb salad for those of y'all that wanna eat a little healthier. They have a lot of great things on this menu. Their main lobster roll was amazing, which I tried. I've tried their happy hour tacos as well. The SoCal crab sandwich, that's really good too. If you wanna enjoy views of the San Diego Bay and the dock with all the yachts in it, they're right next to the property of Seaport Village. It's just a great place to hang out during happy hour. This was so good, we had to try it again. This is the deep sea gin and tonic. They give you the fever tree tonic water. You pour it in here and it gives you this nice little violet sunset look to it. You got a cucumber in here, throw the lime in. Cheers. Oh, perfect happy hour gin and tonic here at Sally's. You're gonna love it over here. And the experience off of the Embarcadero is amazing. And if you check out the Port of San Diego website, they have a ton of activities and food and drink places that you can check out other than Sally's. I'm telling you, this is one of the best spots. This Cobb salad with the shrimp on the side looks awesome. You got some blue cheese crumbles, cherry tomatoes, the lettuce leaves. This looks really refreshing and some Bacon bites. And we're also in California, so you know we gotta have some of that avocado in here too. Here we go. Good to see you again. That is nice and fresh. You got your shrimp right here. Oh yeah, the mixture of blue cheese with that shrimp, perfectly seasoned. That is a nice Cobb salad. 
Definitely two thumbs up on that. I'm gonna wash it off. Check that out. We're here at the adult pool on the third floor and there's Sally's Fish House. Just right downstairs with this beautiful view at San Diego Bay. So I didn't cover the adult pool on the first video back over last summer. Figured why not show it now in the best hotels in San Diego Bay video. They have a really cool area here with cabanas. Nicer view of the bay here. Really good place to hang out, especially if you want to enjoy the bay breeze. They also have a nice private jacuzzi here that you can chill in with the wish you were here sign and a huge rectangular pool. This is a place that I've been wanting to show on Jaycation for years. This is the top of the Hyatt and it's finally opened throughout the week. It opens around 4 o'clock in the afternoon and you don't have to be a hotel guest to come here. And you get 360 views of San Diego. You get downtown San Diego, the Coronado Bay Bridge, all the way to the Cabrillo National Monument. You can see the USS Midway and Tuna Harbor right here. And it's really just ironic that I ordered a seared ahi tuna here and they do have a food menu here which they're gonna be updating pretty soon you can get sliders flatbread seared ahi tuna and i got the san diego sour i had to keep it local and i got this beautiful maroon burgundy type drink on top with a lemonade sour on the bottom it's got a lemon peel and it looks really delicious and they have a lot of other great cocktails they're about to update their cocktail menu on the 4th of july they have a private party up here for the big bay boom you can see the fireworks off san diego bay unlimited drinking who knows maybe i'll have to come up here and try it out let's mix this up san diego sour of course i had to keep it san diego Cheers. Oh yeah, you got that sour type of taste to it. Blackberry to it. Oh yeah, this is yummy. This is a pretty drink, especially if you want to watch the sunset go over Point Loma. Next up, we're gonna try this. So you got the seared ahi tuna presented very beautifully with tuna harbor in my back. They have some oranges on here too. Gives you a little bit of sweetness to it. Oh yeah, that is a nice appetizer for sure. What I also like is on their windows, they have quotes from various people, various celebrities and artists. And this one says, a simple hello could lead to a million things. And then they also have Ron Burgundy. And you guys know I sign off my videos with Stay Traveling San Diego, which is a Ron Burgundy ripoff of Stay Classy San Diego. His quote says, I'm kind of a big deal or something like that. <laughs> San Diego doesn't have very many observation decks at all. I think this is the closest you're gonna get to an observation deck. It is available to the public, to the locals. You can come up here, have a few cocktails. You don't need to be a hotel guest. I've been wanting to come here for so long and I'm happy to finally get a chance to. Hey, how's it going? I'm a subscriber. Subscribe to Jay Cajun. Welcome to San Diego. Right down below, that's the headquarters right next to Seaport Village. That's where Puesto is and the old police Jail. Couldn't leave without getting their more popular drink. This is the shooting star. That's a very berryish, sparkly drink. And when the sun sets, you can see the sparkles here. It's a pretty aesthetically pleasing drink. We've made it back to San Diego Rooftop Cinema Club. Last week was the premiere of my KPBS television show that I co-created with my friend Rio. I was just too nervous to even talk and I do have a clip, so let's flash back to that. Tonight happens to be the premiere of my very first TV show, which I co-created with my friend Rio, who's over back there taking pictures right now. Rooftop Cinema Club has a variety of movies. If you go on their website, go check it out. It is amazing here. You see the skyline, you see the convention center, beautiful views. If you guys want to check out San Diego Rooftop Cinema Club in the summer of 2022, I have a 20% off promo code for you. RCC Boondocks 20. RCC Boondocks 20. If you use that, you get 20% off up to July 4th, 2022 when you reserve a ticket to a movie here. Awesome Adirondack chairs and a bunch of classic movies that you can watch. They did have my premiere here and I was joking about Tom Cruise flying over with a helicopter and it turns out the next day, the Top Gun Maverick premiere was down the way at USS Midway and Tom Cruise flew in on a helicopter and there were helicopters flying over towards that way. I think it was Tom Cruise. 
last but certainly not least is the Spring Hill Suites and Residence Inn by Marriott here near the airport and the cruise ship terminal and portside pier. It's one of the newer hotels in all of San Diego. This is a two-in-one hotel. Basically, you get a residence in suite which has a full kitchen with stove, sink, refrigerator, dishwasher and everything. And then you get your Spring Hill Suites which has a refrigerator, a coffee machine and a microwave and all the amenities you usually get in a Spring Hill Suites. What I really love about the proximity of this hotel is that it's literally only a five minute Uber ride to the airport. And right behind it down the street is the USA's largest Little Italy. So many great restaurants there. You can go to the USS Midway. You can go to Portside Pier, down a Seaport Village, another great advantage of this is right across the street is the Santa Fe train depot where you can hop a trolley, hop a train, and you won't even need a car. Let's go check out a little bit of Spring Hill Suites and show a little bit of San Diego history that this property is on. We're here at the residence inside of the building and this is a one bedroom suite. What you get here are beautiful city views. I'm looking at an airplane land right now on Lindbergh Field and you get partial view of the bay. The residence inside of this property is geared more toward long-term stays. Sleeps four, you get your big bed in the bedroom, and then somebody can probably crash on this sofa. You have your microwave, your refrigerator, you even have a stove, oh, a dishwasher too, with a sink and coffee. So you have everything you need and you can just go grocery shopping. Also remember that all guests get free breakfast in the morning. It's included in the room stay. This is a large shower. I'm not used to seeing showers this big. That's awesome. This is definitely a plus. We're on the same floor as the residence in suite and we are now at a Spring Hill suite which gives you more of the bay views. Two queen beds here and a pull-out sofa so you could technically fit up to five or six people here. Even though they don't have a full kitchen, you still have your refrigerator and a microwave here so you can still heat up your food and you can have some coffee in the morning as there's a coffee machine. Huge table here so you can work and the Wi-Fi unlike other hotels is complimentary. And I like how they have frames of San Diego landmarks over here. You have a picture of a dock on San Diego Bay and a shot of the San Diego trolley. And looking out the window here, you can see the USS Midway, which is a great destination to check out. I have that video linked down below for you to look at. We're in the fitness area right now and their decorations are the original Padre players who played on this very property on Lane Field. And after this, I'm gonna show you a little piece of San Diego Padres history just outside. All right, JK Shinner, so we're here at the Harbor and Sky rooftop bar and lounge. We're gonna try out a few cocktails and enjoy this beautiful view. You can see the USS Midway behind me. They do have a local flavor to their cocktails. And this is their lavender lemonade. Look how awesome this drink is made. This right now is non-alcoholic, but to keep it local, they do use cut water spirits vodka usually in it. Cheers. Oh, that's nice and refreshing. Sweet lemonade. Thumbs up. Looks like the San Diego sunset in a way. This is the cheese and hummus. You have blueberries, strawberries, hummus, and various amounts of cheese. Dip it in the hummus. Mmm, that's some tasty hummus. And you guys know that I like cheese. The more pungent, the better the cheese. Mmm, oh yeah, nice mix. We're gonna try out their Midway Meal. They name it after the USS Midway, which is right behind me. Oh yeah, it's strong, but it's refreshing. So you might wanna have a little more food in you. If you're out here during the fire at night, watching the sunset, this is a great drink to have. Next up are their chicken sliders. It's on this nice shiny bun. Looks like you got some coleslaw. Definitely make it San Diego. You got some avocado. Nice, really mild flavor to it. You get the avocado. This is an awesome happy hour appetizer. This is the shrimp ceviche tostada. San Diego and the Pacific Ocean being right there. You know San Diego is known for seafood. Looks like there's a drizzle of some sort of chipotle dressing. Look at that. You got some nice chipotle taste to it. You also got cucumbers in here, cilantro. That's a thumbs up. Last but not least, this is a great summer drink. This is their Rosarita. It's a mix between a Frosé and a Margarita. And since we're less than an hour from Rosarito, they had a little homage to it and named this the Rosarita. And today happens to be Cinco de Mayo, so happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody. 
Ooh, you get that strawberry margarita taste to this. Oh, these can go down real easy on a nice San Diego night. Gotta slow down on this. This bar is not just for tourists, but locals can come here and you're like, hey JJ, costs a little much to park around this area. If you're coming here to the Harbor and Sky Lounge, you can get your ticket validated and park in their parking lot up to three hours. They have a validation machine, just give it up to the bartender and they'll take care of you. Monday to Friday, they have a happy hour from five to six. If you wanna try some San Diego craft beer, you can come here. You can even rent out these spaces, these fire pits, these tables for private events. Check this out. This is the original Lane Field and this is where the property stands right now. This would be left field, technically. This is the original Padres team and this is one of my favorite uniforms of all time. And I actually have this jersey. This is where the original San Diego Padres played at. It's called Lane Field and the hotel is on the same property right there. This is where home plate used to be. And if you look straight, this is the pitcher's mound right in the middle of the lawn. They have where the mound was too in the original lane field. Other businesses that are on the same property is the Beach Hut Deli, Ryan Brothers Coffee, along with a bike rental spot. If you're looking for a wedding location, you might want to check this building out. I hope one of these properties suits you for your next trip to San Diego. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know more information about the Port of San Diego, the Embarcadero and San Diego Bay, go check out the Port of San Diego's website down below. And all these hotels will be linked as well. And if you want to learn more information about San Diego and learn about the latest news news, tips, and recommendations. I have over 6,000 San Diego lovers and enthusiasts on my Facebook group called It's Always Sunny in San Diego. Want to see a full review on the Manchester Grand Hyatt? Check it out right here on this side. And you want to watch my San Diego playlist? I have it over here. See you there, Jaycationers.